All right, well, happy Monday. It is now June the 10th. I'm re-recording this video because we had already done this week's devotions and and then with graduate recognition last week, we changed the message order. And so, so this week we are actually in Hebrews 9, 11 to 22. And, and each morning you get this video, it's going to offer some question as to what day it is, what date it is. But the dates are going to be June 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right? So that's this week. And we are in Hebrews chapter 9, verses 11 to 22. Here we go. But Christ has appeared as a high priest of the good things that have come in the greater and more perfect tabernacle not made with hands, that is, not of this creation. He entered the most holy place once for all time, not by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, having obtained eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls and the ashes of a young cow sprinkling those who are defiled sanctify for the purification of the flesh, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without blemish to God, cleanse our consciences from dead works so that we can serve the living God. Therefore, he is the mediator of a new covenant so that those who are called might receive the promise of the eternal inheritance because a death has taken place for redemption from the transgressions committed under the first covenant. Where a will exists, the death of the one who made it must be established, for a will is valid only when people die, since it is never in effect while the one who made it is living. That is why even the first covenant was inaugurated with blood. For when every command had been proclaimed by Moses to all the people according to the law, he took the blood of calves and goats, along with water, scarlet wool, and hyssop, and sprinkled the scroll itself and all the people, saying, This is the blood of the covenant that God has ordained for you. In the same way he sprinkled the tabernacle and all the articles of worship with blood, according to the law, almost everything is purified with blood, and without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. This is, this is a reference to the present covenant that, that we enjoy, quite honestly. The new covenant uh, is a change in priests and law. See, we, we, we have seen the case made throughout the book of Hebrews that Christ is the superior communication of God uh, regarding redemption, regarding cleansing, regarding perfection. We have been told that the first covenant did not make perfect those who were the subjects of that covenant. The new covenant would be the finishing and final covenant whereby God will accomplish both redemption and perfection for his people. Jesus is the high priest of the new covenant. And this is the present covenant that we have been redeemed through. The writer of Hebrews continues to substantiate the work of Jesus as the high priest and his ministry and function before the Father. We see the repeated work proclaimed here in the text above. Jesus has done the work that no one else could do. Whew, we'll see you tomorrow.